What's up guys, Kodiak back here with another video. Just got my Final Mouse Ultralight X Tiger and I've been using the Poseidon Final Mouse medium size, so pretty big fan of these guys, but so this is the Poseidon I've been using, medium size. I've been also using the Death Adder V3 Pro, but honestly, after playing with it for a while, I always end up going back to this guy. It's just way more athletic of a mouse and just overall better for the games I play, which is like Counter-Strike and Valorant. But <clears throat> got this guy today, today. so um, let me turn this off so I don't start moving things around on my desktop. But um, so size difference, let's see. Let's get the back kind of synced up here. It's not like that much bigger, but it is a little bit bigger. And for my hand size, which is like 22 by like 11, it's a pretty big hand. This one is definitely better for me. And holy cow, you can definitely tell the weight difference. So this one is at 49 grams on a real scale, even though it says 47 on Final Mouse's website. This one is 40 grams, even though it says 38 on their website. But the difference of nine grams or 10 grams or whatever, I mean, if you're talking something that's 50 grams versus 40 grams, you know, doesn't weigh a whole lot. It does make a pretty big difference, especially once you get a mouse that's bigger, it feels, well, the weight is distributed across a larger volume. So you feel that weight difference even more. So it's a little bit bigger than this one and it's quite a bit lighter, but damn. I'm really impressed with it so far. Um, it goes up to 4,000 DPI or 4,000 polling rate. Um, and the software is really nice too. It's all in your browser. And the skates look to be improved. They feel more like core pad rather than, well, actually I, I have core pad aftermarket that I put on myself on these ones. But the ones that these came with originally, uh, they weren't terrible, but they're kind of scratchy a little bit. But these ones come with better quality feet and they did come with some grips inside the box too, but I actually kind of like the feel of the holes. I know, kind of weird, but I can prop like put exactly where I want my finger every time and just feel exactly where I want to hold on to. But with my grip style, which is like this, I don't even know what to call it, honestly. I get a little bit more support in this area here with the large mouse, so I'm able to control it a little bit better. Whereas with this one, I really have to like, find that little corner down there, it's a little bit harder. But this one's a little bit easier, but the weight difference is significant, honestly, and I'm just really excited about this mouse. So yeah, the box looks a little bit more streamlined, refined, aim for greatness. This is the Poseidon one I got. Not too, too long ago, but yeah, I like Final Mouse quite a bit. Been using them for a few years now, and is it worth it? I would say it's worth it. A lot of people are getting the WL Beast X, some shit like that, but I, the, it just, it's way too open. I don't like the feel of how that one is it's just too many like the holes are just way too big you can literally just like see inside the mouse whereas with this one although the honeycombs are bigger on this one it's still i mean the wl is just a joke honestly to me in terms of <clears throat> how big the holes are it's just too too big this one actually feels comfortable in the hand and i still forget about all the holes so but yeah nice to see that they have a type c now as well and updated sensor with motion sync. So yeah, this is the new final mouse. I do recommend.